White Clay, Nebraska, along the state line with South Dakota and the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation halted. Four stores are tapped out until the State Court of Appeals decides on their legal efforts. 3 News Now reporter Miranda Christian spent the weekend in the White Clay area and has the latest developments tonight. White Clay wasn't a ghost town today. It was actually pretty busy. People were just going to the grocery store or eating at the restaurant. And with the liquor stores being closed, people are concerned that the buyers are just going somewhere else. I think this is the beginning of the end. I think the days of uh, the old White Clay are numbered. Bruce Bonfleur has lived in White Clay for 14 years. He's the director for Lakota Home Ministries. He's also hopeful this is a new chapter for the town of nine people. Monday morning, beer was loaded case after case onto trucks and taken away. Um, to see a uh, beer actually being loaded onto the trucks instead of off is, um, you know, it, 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 like I said, it's just surreal. Well, some are relieved to see the beer leave. Others have concerns. If an alcoholic wants a drink, they will go somewhere else to get it. The state is going to have to recognize that they to serve the people, not to control them. It won't stop the problem. It will just move the problem. Von Fuller says he isn't concerned over more cars being on the roads. If the existing law enforcement um, and the existing governments do their part, uh, to keep us all safe on the roads. We shouldn't notice any kind of real big increase in that. Activists and former tribe leaders were passionately calling for the stores to close down for good. That's not hyperbole to say tens of thousands of the Lakota relatives left this side of Tunkashala's creation too early. With a pending appeal from the Attorney General's office, everyone is waiting to see if the stores will ever sell alcohol again. And they all indicated to us back uh, months ago that they're ready to get out. They want to do something else. I did speak with the owner of Fireside End today. She didn't go on camera, but she said they are very concerned about all the cars that will be traveling on the road. She also said that this decision is putting about a dozen people without a job. Reporting in White Clay, I'm Miranda Christian, 3 News Now.